Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Nara. I'm from Brazil. Uh, uh, I'm from a city called Taguatinga. It's next from Brasilia, the capital. Uh, it's the suburb of Brasilia. Uh, me and my colleague Farid have a studio, a design and audiovisual studio named Gunga. We created it uh, about 10 years ago and we work with uh, free and open source softwares since then. Uh, I am a graphic designer. Uh, Faridi is a programmer and video maker and web developer. Um, I'm here today to show you my work and our work. Today we have more people working with us and make us showcase and tell you about the history of, the, of Gunga and uh, feel free to ask, ask questions uh, because I think questions will make this thing more rich. Uh, this is Gunga logo, yeah. Uh, this is me, and you can see now. Uh, and for really 10 years ago, <laughs> we just uh, rented our place by that time. We are with these funny hats I don't remember why, but <laughs> this is, we are in a place called uh, Mercado Sul, the translator is South Market, it's an antique uh, market that was not a market anymore, and today it's like uh, a lot of uh, collectives, cultural collectives, there are squad there, there are many different and crazy things going on there. It's like a community, it's, it's a very little streets like here and everyone knows everyone and everyone uses free software because a lot of people use free software there. And uh, we kind of, uh, a place that people go to install and people go to solve problems and, uh, and we are studio too, but we are like working with the community and it's like something like that. This, uh, some photos of there. I'm doing it in, on Inkscape because I feel it's easier to do a presentation on Inkscape then. <laughs> so I bring some photos. This is like uh, some of the events that goes, goes on there. This is like the streets of South Market. Our place is uh, right here on these brushes. <laughs> and this is Faridi. Huh? And there's a lot of uh, cultural things going on like capoeira. This is one of our uh, workshops that happens in there. This is inside the stores in the second floor. This is one of the squad activities that we contribute. This is another party. Um, this is oh, there too. This is me talking in the streets. <laughs> this is like carnival. <laughs> and other cultural stuff. This is like uh, Samba. And this is our friends who work there with us. Um, it's a lot of people working there. This is l another little workshop. This is us in the fair, like fruits and... <laughs> this part of the part of some uh, work that we do, like a team. Then. This is like where we are today. Uh, we begin like me and Faridi, but today we have another two people working in Gunga. There two are journalists. One of them work with photograph and design. Uh, this uh, is Webert. This one here. This one here. And the other is Haisa who is a graphic artist and a journalist too, and works with social media too. We added this work, uh, this um, service recently 
working with social media. We didn't have social media <laughs> like to, uh, about two years ago. We were in nothing. We only have a website, but we are starting to lose a uh, lot of jobs because we don't offer the service of uh, working with social media and uh, join uh, and design. We just offer design and web uh, service. Um, this two here is the V and Kayani. Now we are like in a co-working, and there are another two other companies that Pareya, who are journalists, work with culture, and uh, Tomada, who is another company. Here's just two girls here, who work with cultural projections like events and fairs and this kind of stuff. This is our team in an uh, event in a, a movie festival about New York City. Uh, this is like Kunga today. Yeah, this is like inside and outside. I take this picture just before I came, <laughs> I came here. Um, now I'm gonna show you some of my projects. Uh, I use uh, a lot of uh, softwares, I mix the day in my process, uh, Krita, my paint, Inscribus, uh, Inkscape, uh, and a lot of other ones. And I'm going to show you some of the works. This was the movie festival of Taguatinga, is our city. Uh, he's, uh, this is on the 12th edition. So, and the team was like our woman first person, our woman part, something like that. We all have a woman part in everyone. Like this was the team of the event. We made web, we made printed, we made uh, both doors, outdoors, it's, uh, everything in free software. This was like more the, uh, the shows and the workshops, other show, and things like uh, to the Facebook and Instagram. Um, other, the, this year, uh, the festival is already beginning, the 2018 edition. I just started. This is like the first thing that I made just before I came to here, like the, the new identity. This, year's, this year, the team is like uh, the movement on us, like Brazil is uh, getting through a political, social, ethical crisis. So the festival is like um, inviting movies that uh, talk about that, that inspires people to make things different, like this thing, like what we're doing here and other stuff. I just uh, started the, the posters. The first campaign is just to call the, the video makers to subscribe their films. We are in that part now. You are understanding? My English is... <laughs> yes. Uh, another one that I want to show you. This was a, a simple job that I made. It's like a, a logo for an animation studio, an online animation uh, school. This was some. Um, this is what I, what I showed to the client to the like options of logo. Yeah. 
I was trying like different typographies and different uh, images. They choose this first one. Uh, and after it changes a little, this was the, the final one. They work a lot of with uh, motion graphics and liquid design, liquid motion. So that it was one, one of the inspirations for the logo. Uh, I want to show one part of this. This is like my mess when I part of the creation. Here you can see how the logo was created, like the curves. It looks like something that you just draw, but it's something that uh, <laughs> it's like uh, a lot of lines, and you, you have to make this work very fine when it's uh, big and with and with and when it's very little. So it's like part of the process here of the creation. This is an, an app of like, um, we are called to, to contribute in this app because they are, they are, is all made by, f with free software. If lo uh, it, it's like a four square for cool things and uh, responsible consume in Brazil and organics and agroforestal things. Um, I create the logo and some icons for it. This is like the something that I do for the marketing. But I also have some mock-ups. Uh, to do an app is like a, was a, like a big challenge. I studied it, but I w it's my first app that I work on it. You make lots of mock-ups to <laughs> understand how it's going to work. And just take a minute. But in the end, it's kind of different uh, from the beginning, because you think and the, the software is when you come to the, to the end, to the cell phone, a lot of things uh, change. But it's important to think the process. So you have to design every step that a user could do in, inside the app. Well, if he gonna make uh, the step one, you have to trace it. If everything that the user gonna do, you have to design in the different ways that he can go there. So like this is the, I know, not the first mock-ups, but was part of the process. So you like at the beginning when you enter, And you sh they show you, uh, you pick some places, they show you the information of that places, where is in, in the map, some uh, people talking about that. You can write something, like, oh, I like this place, I don't like, this place doesn't exist, or something like that. Well, you can download it in Apple, in uh, Google, Google? Okay, store. Um, hmm? No, App Store, no, the other one. Uh, hmm? Google Play, yeah. Yeah, you can download it. It's, it's responsive. You, it works uh, in, s in smartphones. This is some, this is some screenshots that why of the real thing, not the mock-ups. Like when you for download it. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this like step by step how to download and use it. 
you can write your number, receive a code, enter in the app, and find initiatives of responsible consume. Um, like the, there's, uh, da, 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 I don't have to, so much time to. But you can see the, all the initiatives and are in, in a map or in a list and get inside them. Like, works like a four square. show this in the next LGM, but I'm going to show again because we are proud of <laughs> We uh, redesigned the logo of Caden Live. So the, the old one, let me see if I have. This is the old logo, and we offered to contribute in this part, creating, making a redesign of the logo of Cutting Live. And this is the new one. So we changed a lot of things, but <laughs> mainly the, maintaining the, like, um, the concept of the, the software and of the logo. We made uh, ver uh, versions for this is like one version, it has another for icons that are very little, so we have to make a different logo for use for uh, very little, little applications. This is something like the process. I started, oh, this is the old logo, and oh, okay, let's do something uh, like that, but uh, no, let's make something different, and this is not entirely here in this archive. That's okay. Ah, so this is the little version of it, tiny version. This uh, I was making some uh, templates for the website that are online now. This is how I work with Farid, like he's a web developer. So I made make the elements in Inkscape, export them to to the, to him and make some like mockups of the site to see oh it's more or less like this what I want to uh, the site w would be. We we work like in the same place, so I think we have a very fluid workflow. We don't have an, a lot of documents and we just sit one by next other and do the things. Um, There's something you want, you know, and you want me to show, like what, how you do the, this or that project. <laughs> this is Malaika. This is an animation 3D movie that we are doing right now. Uh, this is the main character. I am the. I made the characters and. Uh, all the uh, drawing part of the animation and contribute with the, like, when you, like, uh, when you draw everything, uh, like the storyboard. Oh, two. This is some sketches that I made. This is, like, the 3D versions of the characters. This is the part of the process. The main character. It talks about the history of the quilombos in Brazil, which are like um, African tribes that remain until today in Brazil. So they are missing their lands, and uh, the animation talks a little about that. This is like the drawings that we use to do the 3D characters. Most of the characters are here. The bad guys and the good guys. <laughs> uh, we started the 
scenery. We have a not a, a big scenery, it's just two houses and some uh, florists. We think uh, maybe like the animation is going to be like five minutes, but we are trying to do this five minutes to uh, get um, found to do something longer or episodes, something like that. Yeah, this is what's like. A How much time I have? This was a, uh, a DVD, a music DVD. It uh, is uh, in a, a world of best DVD, like in a uh, like a mu music awards in Brazil. This is the cover. Okay, that's fine. This is like the cover. It's like. Brazilian music, it's very mixed, I can't explain to you. <laughs> uh, it's like the CD, because it has a deluxe version and a low-cost version. This is, was the low-cost, just the, the CD in a paper label. And we do some work on the in, on internet to... Uh, communicate the, the DVD, so this is the artist, the band. Well, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> things that I could show you. Um, I can talk uh, with you if you want to, to see more things and open the files and see how I work and how I use the programs, the softwares. And I bring this is <laughs> I bring some things that was the printed jobs, and I to you to see. It's a lot, but, but not a lot, but some. Maybe I just put in here and you can see. I think it's better than to pass over. Um, and questions? I, got a uh, I suppose you started using Pivotic software before the software? Uh, I started uh, using Pivotic. Yeah, like Adobe. Yes, or, yes, yes, yes. I started Google. I was still studying design. So I s use it, provide software for like two years or three years. So I have more time using free software than private software. How using free software has improved your design or how improved the general practice of design? But in the beginning, I have lots of problems and headaches and I want to throw the computer from the window and oh my god ah. uh, but today I'm, I'm very okay I, I can I send something to the to print like oh, okay go print I'm gonna travel uh, but in the beginning it was a very problematic thing I, I sent something I have to go to the printer shop to no I don't have a, a, a uh, illustration or a Corel Draw uh, archive. Archive. I, this is you have to work with this. <laughs> so, but today I think it's like um, I'm really naturalized by, with the workflow of free software. So I think um, when someone new gets in Gunga, I, I, I actually um, question what do you think it's have to. Uh, be to improve these softwares because uh, I am no longer um, have more the comparative because it's been so much years that I don't use proprietary so I, I don't have 
in the beginning I, uh, I have, but now it's, I'm, it's only what I use. So, but I think it improved. Some, uh, some softwares most than others, but today I can do what I have to do with no problems. Right. Thanks. You can uh, uh, contact Gunga in the website or my email and uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Thanks.